So here's a quick guide on how to save and export your EXS instruments. If you go into edit, you can see all your audio files, everything's mapped to keys where you had it. Now we want to export the instrument along with the audio files. So you go up here to instrument and export sampler instrument and sample files. You can then choose a name, so I'll just call this point one. And I'm going to save it to where I store my own sampler instruments. Mine are on an external hard drive and they're in a folder that I've chosen. Okay, so I've chosen the folder that I want to save these in. You can save them to any location you want. Hit save. And that's done. So what I can do is show you where they ended up. Get logic out of the way. Go to my hard drive. Scroll down to the folder. And what you can see here is the folder with all the audio, all the samples in it. Now what it'll do when it saves, it'll create another folder which it automatically labels sampler instruments. What I like to do is drag the actual instrument, this isn't the audio, this is the actual instrument, and put that in the folder with the audio. Let that go. And then we can get rid of this instrument folder here. So just put that in the trash. Now I've got a folder with all the audio and the instrument. I can then give that to a friend, move that to a different location and reuse it. Back in Logic, if I go into say create a new track and I'll put another instance of the sampler in that track. I should be able to go to my factory, to the folder that I've created <coughs> and at the moment it's not showing the instrument that I want. What I'll need to do is refresh the menu and when that's done you should be able to see the instrument that we've just created. Okay, so there's the original one, here's the one I just exported and I can open that and if I have a look in edit we'll see all the audios there and everything's mapped how it was. Okay, so that's how to export your instruments and move them around.